Hi everyone, today we are back on Stevie T and the tagline for his video is... This top 250 greatest guitarist list is balls! Let's see why he thinks it is. Let's check it out. Who compiled this list and how has Stevie T put it in in 20 odd minutes? How? How, how, how? Okay. I'm ready for a Stevie T reaction here. Let's go. Where's my freaking pick? All right, quite a while ago, Rolling Stone came out with Rolling the Stone. top 250 guitarist list. And it's already in the past. People have already done their videos about it. But then there's little old me. <laughs> I hate doing videos about current events because I feel like I'm jumping on a bandwagon. But today, Just here's it, the bandwagon. Here's me. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I'm going through all 250 guitarists. No. What? I don't exactly remember hearing <laughs> doo, 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 Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> Not that sweet picking makes you an incredible guitarist anyways, but I digress. I'm now going to show how um, uneducated I, I really is. am. I don't know who that is, and they can probably outshred me. <laughs> Keith Urban? Whatever happened to Keith Suburban? I, I don't know who if that is. If you're going to include a country guy, Brad Paisley is the guy to include on this list. That buddy can shred! Laura Marling. Kind of embarrassed to admit I thought that was uh, Johnny Winter at first. <laughs> Courtney Barnett, don't know him or her, I'll move on. Okay, here we go. Don't know him or her, I'll move on. He's, he's, he's brutal. He's brutal. Courtney Barnett, don't know him or her, I'll move on. Okay, here KK, we go. KK, Glenn KK. Tipton and KK Downing Judas Priest. of Judas Priest. Like, how can you listen to their riffages and their solo soups and not put them on this list? Scrout! They're kind of low down. <laughs> Uh, yeah, why are they low down? Because every time I've listened to Judas Priest, they've had great dueling guitar solos. Okay, Lizzie Hale is in 218. How is, how is Lizzie Hale above KK's Priest? KK's Downing, whatever his name is. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, Rolling Stone is claiming that her alone is better than both of them. I've just said that. <laughs> Kurt Vile. That's a sick last name. I, I wish is. I knew who he was. <laughs> Kirk Vile, that's a sick last name. That's very clever. All right, Steve. Kurt Vile. That's a sick last name. I wish I knew who he was. <laughs> Lucy too. Dacus. You want to know, you want to know something about Lucy Dacus? Well, you're going to have to Google it because I don't know anything about her. And I'm, I, you know what? I'm leaving this in here because I deserve to look like a moron. Jose, Fo huh? Hmm? Literally the guy who goes, Feliz Navidad. He's good at guitar? I didn't Is know it? he was good at guitar. Actually, no, now that I think of it, Feliz Navi. <laughs> Eric Johnson. Stevie T should be on this list. Stevie T, I don't know who Eric Johnson is before they start that. Who's... Does it say... Doesn't say which band is in that. Okay, Eric Johnson's 205 anyway. <laughs> Thank you for all the bits, guys. Eric Johnson. I'm surprised he's this low on the list, to be honest. Like, I can't even play that here. Yeah, you can. That's on guitar. I wish I could play as clean as him, but I play dirty. Grant Green looks like that doesn't a matter if you play dirty. If you can play, I wish I could play like Stevie T. And that clips of Dogma, as soon as he started playing it, I remembered it from um, Guitar Hero. I wish I could play as clean as him, but I play dirty. <laughs> Grant Green looks like he's taking a massive dump. Gary <laughs> Diaperman <laughs> Shitter. No, no, Betancourt. <laughs> Gary Diaperman. Grant Green looks like he's taking a massive dump. Gary Di <laughs> Diaperman Shitter. Oh, that is a great name. <laughs> he's tickled me a little bit with that one. <laughs> Film, but I play dirty. Oh. Grant Green looks like he's taking a massive dump. Gary Thanks. Diaperman Shitter. <laughs> Nuno Betancourt. Yeah. Oh, one time Nuno. I heard a Nuno Betancourt solo and I had to learn it. What one was but that? Why is he 197? He should be higher than that, surely. I wonder who number one's going to be. At. Oh, yeah. Get the funk out. <laughs> Oh, 
Wow. His tapping is incredible and is, has inspired my tapping. Like, I do stuff like that all the time. He's very good, Stevie T. From him, one of my favorite guitarists of all time. David Lindley. If I knew who he was, I would definitely <laughs> know who that was. Lita Ford is a rock goddess. She's good. But once again, like, you put Nuno Betancourt way back there, you know, the, uh, you know, you're losing your credibility by the moment. But I mean, I lost my credibility That's... a long time ago when I didn't know who uh, Chalmers Edward Spanky <laughs> Alford is. He's amazing though, probably. Jerry Cantrell, yes. I'll tell you what, Jerry can. Sure, he's not one of these, yeah. like, shred gods, but my favorite Jerry Cantrell riff? Alice, Alice in Chains. Alice in Chains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marnie Stern, Mark Robot, deep bloop. Ah, uh, Steve Lukather. Steve Lukather! I've never seen him that young. Guys, like, come on, hear me out. Where's my damn pick? Hold the line! Hold the line! Wow. Steve Lukather is sick at guitar! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> And then he does like some sick like or something. That's I don't know. Crazy. He can do it better than me, but my name is Steve too. One of my faves. One of my faves. <laughs> <laughs> you realize it's a cardinal sin to put bass players on a guitar list, right? I knew he was gonna pull his face because he was uh, a bass player, not a guitarist. And the fact he just took that girl off with it. Face. <laughs> There's something wrong with this guy in his head. There, there really is. You realize it's a cardinal <laughs> sin to put bass players on a guitar list, right? I love Paul That's... McCartney, but he does not play guitar. He's not a guitarist. Nah, she's a singer. Oh, Johnny Winter. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vote, oh, wow. All right. Uh, so we're going modern. And does he deserve it? <laughs> Just that. That's the guy from Polyphia, isn't it? Polyphia. 161. Yeah, he's super original and I wish I could play like him, but I'm too old school. My only concern with this style of guitar playing is it's super trendy and I don't know how it's going to hold up over time. Because okay. I mean, how many times can you hear like... <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know. Still, super impressive. Deserves to be on this yeah. list. Well, wouldn't you know it? One of the guitarists John of Lennon. the Beatles is higher on this <laughs> list than their bassist. It's just really hard to like, what do you classify as a great guitarist? One who can shred like a mother or one that writes the most memorable riffs? I'm sure it was really hard to make up this list. Well, but no, it has to be the way they play. It has to be the way they play to be a guitarist list because it would be a songwriter's list otherwise, wouldn't it? Now, John Lennon was a decent guitarist, but I don't think he was better than a lot of those that were above him. Uh, below him, should I say. Hmm, okay. Interesting that John Lennon's on the list. Above some of them. But they f***ed up hard. Pat <laughs> Metheny, like, if we're, if we're just going on pure skill alone, Pat Metheny deserves to be in, like, the top ten. I mean, oh, right, okay. <laughs> Yvette Young. It is nice to see, like... A little bit of love for the internet guitarist and okay. good for Yvette. She's incredible at guitar and she is clearly about to play Wonderwall in this picture. <laughs> Picosi? Picasi? Marissa Paternoster! <laughs> I'm sure these guitarists are amazing. I don't know him. Said, I know him. Crazy. Huh. We've got ourselves a Jinty Gramps. But yeah, his rhythms are just like I've impossible. Never, to I've been asked about, I can see, I see there he's a, from the metal band Meshuggah from Sweden. Now I've been asked a few times to do something from these guys, but I never actually have, so I don't know what he's like. Play, and I'm glad to see the grandfather of Gent on this list. Okay, here's the thing, Joe Perry. There's something about the way Joe solos okay. that is just so fun to play. <laughs> I cannot tell you how fun that is to yeah, play. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> Bob Mould, even Bob Mould is like, huh? What am I doing on this list? I don't even know who I am. Robert Cray? I hate to break your balls, Robert Cray, but that's not super hard to do. <laughs> it is for me. See, not that hard. My guy. 
I died remember bug. being in grade 11 hearing oh, one, that three, he one. died and I like almost cried in the middle of class. But like, come on, like the quintessential heavy metal guitarist. It doesn't get much better than Dimebag Douglas. Like his solos were so crazy, he didn't even bother to follow a scale half the time. Half the <laughs> stuff is chromatic, but it still sounds amazing. <laughs> like that and then like He's it's incredible. so good. Such a great combination of shreddy chromaticness and like wow. classic soloing. So good. Oh, Anita Strauss, of course. I mean, she's brilliant. Um, I've done a couple of her videos. I was just going to say then about... Um, I said an interview once with somebody and I can't remember for the life of me who they were interviewing. And they were talking about the guitar playing style. And the commentator said to him, like, uh, something about scales. The interviewer said something about scales. And the guy went, dude, scales are for fishes. I like to make my guitar puke. <laughs> okay. There's no set way to play something. It's how you want to do it, isn't it? You know what I mean? Classic soloing. <laughs> So good. Oh, I need a Strauss, of course. Every list Brilliant. need a Strauss. Really? You're going to put him this low on the list? That's crazy. No one can play guitar quite like Steve Vine no. plays guitar. He doesn't just play guitar. He sings with yeah, guitar. Yeah. There are so many guitarists on this list that I do not know. Me neither. Leonard Skinner. Yeah, sure, they wrote Freebird, but they're not. They don't have the same chops as Steve Vai. No. Come on. Don't. Pissing my coffee and telling me it's salad. <laughs> uh, with, okay. Rolling Stone, congratulations for putting him on the list. He should be higher. Listen to Big Love and tell me not big he does Fleetwood not belong Mac. on this list. Screw it! <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Uh, how is R.E.M.'s guitarist higher than Steve, Steve Vai? Vai? I'm sorry, but when you put Steve Vai that low, That's, you are now yeah. setting a precedent, yeah. okay? Yeah. Like, what were they thinking? Steve Vai is great and all, but you know who's way better? The guy who wrote this. <laughs> 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 You're wiping it out, Steve! Uh, with Steve Vai. <laughs> Shiny, happy people. Shiny, happy people. You just flick your finger on the string a little bit, and then you've, you you everybody hurts. You play the D. <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. He's right. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> You're wiping an ass, Steve, with Steve Vai's legacy. Oh, he's offended, Steve. Slash 105. Why is he this low? Rolling Stone, listen, I expected Slash to be in the top 10. Yeah. He's not even in the top 100. Like, uh, Rolling Stone, how much crack do you have around the office, you see? <laughs> Slash is, uh, like, it does not ya. get much more iconic than Slash. No. There's literally a Slash key on keyboards. <laughs> like, Slash can play the best feel solo. Yeah. <laughs> And then he can just unwind like the end of Night Train. Or something. Wow. You know, whatever, whatever Slash does, yeah. <laughs> Not only are... Slash, Slash at 105 is a travesty. I thought it was going to be way up there. Or something, you know, whatever. Whatever Slash does, you know. <laughs> Not only are Gibbons my favorite kind of monkey, but Billy Gibbons has the most, not only signature look, but the most <laughs> signature sound. Like, when you hear a Billy Gibbons solo, know you know it's a Gil B Gilly Bibbins solo. <laughs> His pinch harmonics. Okay. Like, that's Billy Gibbons in a okay. nutshell. Yeah, here we go. He should definitely be on the list, but I mean, his solos are essentially just this. <laughs> However... Slay at that, isn't it? If you write a riff that sick, you deserve to be on here. Isn't Tell that Rain in Blood, isn't that Slayer? What's people saying in the chat? Yes, I thought I was right, because that's on Guitar Hero as well. 
<laughs> if you write a riff that sick, you deserve to be on here. Yes. Tosin, I he's very you young are. there. Tosin Abasi, <laughs> a true innovator of guitar, and I wish I could play like him, but he's got this thumb thing that he does, like. <laughs> I didn't know that one animals as leaders riff though. Um, Kfo. <laughs> Wow. Something like that, I, I forget it, I forget it. Mark Knopfler of Dire Only Straits. 96. Yeah. He's kind of like Lindsey Buckingham in the sense that he's always using his fingers to play pretty complicated stuff, yeah. and he's the main singer. So, like the solo to Sultans of Swing. <laughs> But he plays it with his fingers. Like, what? Mary yeah. Timoney. Yeah, I'd give him that. Uh, Matt Knopfler is an amazing guitarist. But again, only only in the 90s. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. I, I, I'm, I'm with Stevie T on this one. A lot of these are offending Steve. If they're offending Steve, they're offending me. Mary Timoney. Joe Satriani, don't know him. Oh, Kidding. <laughs> I mean, God, Joe Satriani is like the grandfather of shred Fantastic. guitar. He taught Steve Vai how to play guitar. He taught, it says right there, Kirk Hammett. See, he taught the guitar gods. He taught them so that they can fly. And he's only 94. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wata. No, thanks. Pop for me. Cat core. <laughs> Oh, water, water. <laughs> He's bad in it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Water. No, thanks. Pop for me. Cat core. That's my favorite genre of metal, ironically, but okay. I don't know who that is. I know. Kurt Cobain. See, this is where things are starting to get a little snooty. Do I disagree with him being on this list? No. Mm -hmm. But do you think Kurt Cobain was better than like Slash and Stevie Vai and all the other icons above him? I mean, don't get me wrong, Kirk Cobain, was, Kirk Cobain was a great guitarist, but higher than them. Yeah, because listen, just because he wrote does not mean he's a guitar god. He's like a hundred places higher than Nuno <laughs> Betancourt. Look me straight in the ass and tell me Kirk Cobain is a better guitarist than Nuno Betancourt. <laughs> grill me if you want. Hit up the comment section and grill me about not knowing who Poison Ivy is. I thought that was a Spider-Man villain. <laughs> okay. No. Uh Batman's villain. Come on, Steve. About not knowing who Poison Ivy is. <laughs> I thought that was a Spider-Man villain. <laughs> okay, I thought that was Carl Winslow from Family Matters. <laughs> Very disappointed that it's not. Ah, uh, see, now here's where we're going to start getting kinky. Yes, eh? Adrian Smith and Dave Murray of Iron Maiden? Well, what about Janet Gares? Or Janet Jares? I don't freaking know how to pronounce it. But Steve. anyone who can write dual leads like they can deserves to be on here. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? For every guitarist that I don't know, I'm just gonna say a food name just to save time. <laughs> Coconuts. I thought that was Jimi Hendrix. I and didn't. It is not. So I unfortunately, did. radishes, pizza, <laughs> marijuana. Joan Jett. I don't know why she's this high on the list. Number seventy-six. I mean, you, I don't you know enough about Nuno Betancourt here. <laughs> <laughs> Parsnip. He is butt hurt. Steve is butter about Nino <laughs> and, and yeah, yeah, okay. And I see why. Six. I mean, oh. you, you could have put Nuno Betancourt here. <laughs> <laughs> Parsnips. Oranges. Oh, onions. Oh, yeah, this guy. Okay, this guy is freaking nuts. Okay, I think this is the guy who literally played guitar with two fingers. He literally, like, did the claw. And he literally shredded with two fingers. Well, that's, that's a skill, that, though, isn't it? <laughs> like, like what? Oh, salad sandwiches. Oh, meatloaf. Cashews. <laughs> Listen, okay? I understand he's great at guitar. Actually, an incredible blues guitarist. But I just uh, don't know about putting him this high on the yeah. list. That's all I'm saying. Ah, grilled cheese. Baked potato. <laughs> Macaroni salad. The Edge. A view too for those keeping track. Again, Again? not a, a super impressive player. No, I mean, I mean, a lot of U2 songs that I've heard have been like slow and like not massive into the solos. I mean, you've got, I mean, I, I don't know. 
Cheese baked potato. Macaroni salad. The edge of you two for those keeping track. Again, not a, a super impressive player, no. but he is the effect master. I don't think yeah. my little amp has enough delay for this, but. Okay. It's cool. Johnny Ramone <laughs> knew he'd be on here somewhere. He's pissed about it too. And uh, he's not good at guitar. Sorry. He plays power chords. But he's in the sickest punk band ever, so he gets a pass. See, I feel like I should know everyone this high up on the list, but okay. I don't. Carrots! John. <laughs> hey. Tuna! Oh, wow, I didn't think he'd be this low, actually. I thought he'd be in the top ten for sure. When I first started guitar... And I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see who's in this top ten. I can't wait to see who he's going to be butthurt about who's above Stevie Vai, who's, who's considered the, the elite top 10 on this list, when considering a, a few that should be in the top 10 on the list, list have already gone. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> who's going to be number one? Angus Young was my god. The solo to You Shook Me All Night Long is probably the first real solo <laughs> I ever learned, so I owe everything to Angus. Okay. He's just a little guy. I love him. Pete Townsend. I mean, what can I say? The guy can windmill pick That's like a mother. Well, yeah. Uh, I, obviously, his masterful solos and riffs give me the nips. And I've said this before, but Layla is my favorite guitar riff of all time. <laughs> Brian May. <laughs> oh my God. How is Brian May only 33? I don't mean years of age. I was the only on 33 on the list. I mean, we've not had anyone like um, David Gilmore or anyone like that yet. Uh, um, Van Halen. Brian May. <laughs> Brian May should be in top 10. Brian May? Oh, he may, all right. I don't know what it is about Brian May's guitar playing, but his, his individual style is unreplicable. Unre you can't replicate it. <laughs> like, you'll never play it as good as him. Like. No. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Just because the guy wrote Seven Nation Army doesn't oh, mean he's strikes. a guitar okay. god. Especially not this high up. <laughs> Come on, guys. George Jarrison. I mean, he's in the Beatles. Can I really say anything else? I'm not even a big Beatles fan, but like Neil Young, Neil Young's he's decent. not. Is he that good? He's not that guitar. High, I mean, his guitar solo in "Rockin' in the Free World" is literally like. <laughs> but David Gilmour should be higher up. Yes, no. thank you, David Gilmour. Although he's not particularly massively fast, he plays it with so much feeling. He should be in the top ten. Slash should be the top 10. Stevie Vai should be in the top 10. The fastest guitarist, but... I've just said that. Let me bring that back in. But David Gilmour should be higher up. Yeah. Not the fastest guitarist, no. but writes the best solos, in my opinion. Comfortably Numb is my favorite solo of all time. Fancy. You can play with as much feel as you want, but you're never going to sound as good as David Gilmour. No. Sorry, John Frusciante. I was going to disagree with this, the but the guitar riff to Snow is impossible. That's the do Snow. Salamander tits! <laughs> John Sonny freaking sucks! <laughs> wow, okay. And again, I thought I would see Kirk Hammond higher on the list. But Kirk Hammond is really like the next step up from Angus Young in terms of yeah. like intermediate playing. You go from ACDC solos to Metallica solos. That's the path we all take. <laughs> it's a rite of passage. The most proud I've ever been of myself is when I finally nailed the solo to Master of Puppets. Okay. Ah, uh, it's so good. Yeah. It's a shame he died so young. What what would have happened, I wonder? Would he have been Ozzy's guitarist forever? Probably. But for real, Crazy Train is... That is like the quintessential solo that you attempt to learn when you're a beginner. <laughs> We've all done it. Yeah, you know what? Tom Morello, he's got the chops yeah. and he makes the weirdest sounds with yeah. guitar. Yeah. Like, I feel like Tom Morello... When you, when you talk about guitarists, you talk about someone having a unique sound. You've got, like, Tom Morello, haven't you? The guy makes sounds like nobody else. Uh, sometimes his guitar sounds like whale noises. 
Frelum, he's got the chops, and he makes the weirdest sounds with guitar. Like, I feel like Tom Morello's the only guitarist that can literally do this. <laughs> and it would be considered a great guitar solo. And he pulls it off! Okay. Keith Richards. Okay, well, that's not really fair. Keith Richards has been alive for 480 years. I mean, certainly the most iconic guitarist, but the greatest? Uh, mm, no. Mm, mm. Then again, Satisfaction is a sick riff. Okay, respect. I'm right. glad to see Prince okay. is finally getting the guitar credit. You see, he now, Prince, I'm not well up on Prince. A lot of people have told me since I did a couple of reactions to him that he did uh, guitar work and guitar solos. I didn't know that. He's wrote songs for other people as well. I didn't even know he wrote Nothing Compares to You from Snare O'Connor when I um, did the Chris Cornell cover of it. You know what I mean? I thought it, I said it was Snare O'Connor's song and everyone in the comments started saying, well, Prince wrote that song initially. I was like, oh, okay. But... I've not heard him as a guitarist. You know what I mean? I've, I need. To, I probably need to do some reactions to him. Deserves pork chops. Oh, I'm gonna get roasted so hard in the comments. Oh, that's not atypical. Oh, Carlos 11. Santana. His leads are simplistic, but you'll never play it as good as him because no. he just he just has that feel. <laughs> like I can't play it like him. I can't play it like him. <laughs> Johnny. Interesting. I'm not too much into like the hippie 60s Woodstock <laughs> stuff, but maybe she's the best at it. I don't freaking know. They paid Paradise to put up a f***ing lot. B.B. King, however, is the god and the godfather of blues. Yes, I, mean, I did really a reaction to him. I mean, channel his emotion through his guitar. B.B. King, like, come on, guys. Like, oh, wow. I mean, Niall Rogers has done guitar for, like, every artist ever. I don't know who that so is. So <laughs> that's got to mean something. <laughs> like, Niall Rogers essentially invented this style of guitar. Whenever you okay. hear that style of guitar in a song, chances are fun. Niall Rogers played it. <laughs> Jeff Beck, figured I'd see him on here. I mean, the greatest guitarists in the world agree that Jeff Beck is the greatest guitarist in the world. Okay. So, oh, here we go. Yes, oh, oh. yes. Like, being able no, to play on. Eruption is a rite of passage to guitarists. I want to know who's in front of Eddie Van Halen. I thought this guy would have been number one. Okay. Yes. Like being able to play Eruption is a rite of passage to guitarists. And you know what? The guy can shred too. <laughs> like try playing yeah. Spanish Fly. It's freaking impossible. Here he is, Jimothy Page. Yeah, okay. he's probably the best riff writer in rock history. Like for real, he wrote something so iconic and recognizable that you will get kicked out of a music store for playing okay. it. That is guitar legend. <laughs> Who's gonna be number two? <laughs> Jimi Hendrix is gonna be number one. Chuck Berry. Like Chuck Berry wrote that formula that has been re replicated a million times over. There he is, Jimmy Jimi Hendrix. Hendrix number one. Like the truest guitar innovator. And now, admittedly, I I don't talk about Jimmy Hendrix that's a enough. That, that's a respectable number one, though. I mean, I have not um, heard a lot of Jimi Hendrix, but what I've heard of Jimmy Hendrix it was brilliant. Didn't he have a massively long thumb where he could do the the whole fret? From up from above. I think that's I think that was Jimi Hendrix, wasn't it? Guitar innovator. And now admittedly I I don't talk about Jimi Hendrix enough. He wasn't as much an influence on me as like Kirk Hammett or yeah. Angus Young, but I I get it. I understand he is the quintessential guitar god. All right now I couldn't help but notice that a lot of guitarists were omitted from this list. So here's some honorable mentions. Okay. <laughs> Jason Richardson, Frank Gumbali, um, excuse me, Jason Becker, Alan Haldsworth, Marty Friedman, Paul Gill. Robert, my personal favorite guitarist, okay. Aldi Miola, John Petrucci, like what? George Lynch, Warren D. Martini, Herman Lee and <laughs> Sam Totman, yeah. Chuck Schuldner, Elliot Easton, Buckethead, Ingve Malmsteen, unless maybe they thought he was too much of a dick to include. <laughs> Mick Mars, the list goes on and on. And if there's any more I missed, let me know wow. in the comments section. Rolling Stone, cut, do better. I mean, yeah, Jimi Hendrix number one. 
Jimi Hendrix number one. Yeah, you can give that respect to but some of them others in the list. I mean, the people who were up at the top, like like you said, Nuno Benico and stuff like that. I mean, come on. Then you've got these other people that no one's ever heard of halfway down the list. But I mean, wow. That was crazy. That was crazy. I mean, it is right. The, the tagline where the, where the 250 greatest guitarist list is balls is right. They left out uh, a ton of good ones. They did, Kelly. They did. Oh. The list is balls. Stevie T has spoken. He is right. We agree with him. But I mean, some of those, some of those guitarists that was dead far down, like slashing that. I mean, that's it's a, it's a travesty that they are not down at the front. Should be. Anyway, what did you guys think of this reaction? Let me know in the comments. And if you like my videos, then please hit like and subscribe. And I shall see you all in the next video.